Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Scott, this is Golden Era. In this one we're going to take a look at Body 0394, which is a crescent bronze powder gold top Telecaster body, which comes with a neck humbucker route and a single ply cream scratch plate. I've got a bit of a head cold at the minute, so this is a much shorter video. We'll hop over to the bench cam now and go from there. Okay, so Body 0394. And yes, it's really obvious I've got a head cold. I am re really, really sorry about that. I will make this short and sweet, hopefully. So yes, uh, Body 0394. Uh, this is two-piece alder. I've got the scales here. So I think what I want to do is we've seen the kind of the initial uh, look of this. I can put this back together again in a second, but I just want to get this. I want to get this onto the scales and we'll get this bit out of the way so we know what we're dealing with. But yes, a uh, two piece alder for this one, uh, routed for neck humbucker. And this is going to be pounds and ounces to start with. We're four pounds 11.7 ounces, which translates to 2.144 kilograms. So essentially, that will give you a guitar if you add about three pounds for the neck and the hardware and the the pickups and whatnot so you'll be into around about seven high seven pounds which for a for a telecaster it's it's nothing it's not, nothing really especially considering uh the old black guards uh were north of uh, on some occasions north of 10 pounds so uh this is definitely going to have a bit more a bit more thump to it so what is this? It looks like a gold telly, but it's not just a gold telly. This is a bit of a mashup in in terms of uh, finishing and uh, doing a cross brand sort of thing. Uh, obviously, it looks it's it's a Fender Telecaster shape, but it's finished with crescent bronze powder. So this is onto gold top vintage Les Paul gold top territory and that kind of leads me on to the the pit guard as well which i'll talk about in a second so the idea was with this the last couple i've done have been pretty greened out uh pretty pretty heavily aged this one is when you actually see it i'll, I'll bring it closer to the camera but you'll be able to see it as it is quite aged lots of checking a very 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 uh flaky sort of checking not flaky as an early blackguard you know blink and it'll fall off but it's definitely one that you'll continue to age and chip and ding and scrape quite quickly so now i actually had a video of me cutting this pit guard i think it was in the last video where i did a preview uh, of of this and what was coming up so the idea behind this was stock telecaster body no binding uh, nothing particularly fancy as such, but routed for a neck humbucker. Now, the cross-brand thing, again, would lead you to say, well, if you're going to do, you know, a full-on sort of Gibson Fender vintage mashup, it would have been good to have some binding on there. Yes and no. Uh, I think that's definitely an idea that's that's going to be done quite soon. But this, I wanted this just to be a good kind of decent rock looking guitar nothing kind of like more punky uh punk sort of vintage so uh that was kind of my idea behind the whole thing but i've taken it to the point where you know i've tried different uh pit guard materials on this you know, I've tried mint i've tried i've tried black i'm not really a massive fan i think did i think joe bonamassa may have brought out a signature les paul which was uh was it gold top and then it had black appointments on it, which, again, you know, if you like that kind of thing, it's cool. For me, I actually had a, I had this uh, the sheet of plastic actually sitting around for, for quite a while, a couple of years actually, and I hadn't done anything with it. So I thought how cool it would be to do single ply cream uh, pit guard to go with this. So again, we're bringing in that kind of vintage uh, gold top Les Paul sort of idea. And this was taken up to the point where it was immaculate. 
and I've obviously taken it back just just a little bit so uh, you can see just hopefully around some of the edges not sure how that's looking on the camera it might be hard to see but just along the edge just got a little bit of wear and dirt so it's not perfect these will be uh, this will all be photographed so obviously you'll be able to you'll be able to see this on the on social media and the website very very soon uh, the photographs for the website or the social media should be up uh, tonight uh, being this, this being Thursday so um, hopefully have them good to go and those will be the photographs that are used on the website so you should be able to get up close and personal to see all the, the details on this so I guess we can go ahead and take everything off and just have a quick nosy around this guy and see Again, router marks in the cavities. We've got a serial number here. We've got paint nail holes going on at the various spots. <clears throat> and it's not until you get up a bit closer. As you can see, lots of wear, but nothing, nothing dramatic. No big areas of paint missing. Again, I, like, I think Telecasters look really, really cool when they're all kind of beating up around the edges I think that's I mean that's where the majority of the wear happens on these on these guitars not not all of them but certainly the majority because they don't have contours uh they kind of Brad Paisley calls them a chopping board with strings on so very very correct slab of wood square edges it's got to get dinged around the edges so that's uh that's pretty much what I've done again ferrules are included and installed I think that's something that a lot of people I wouldn't say freak out about but certainly when you see a, a neck with no tuners in it and people start saying oh you've got to install the tuners oh man you know got to get the, the, the bushings in and stuff so um that's just a job that I like to take out of the equation for you guys so but again it's not dramatically worn it's just a little bit most of it's quite subtle that you'll only be able to see properly uh, in the close-up photographs again you can just see that the checking is really really cool on this now I've tried tried several times with various different paints to get this gold top this this color again I've got I've got the the infamous <laughs> white paper to kind of balance the color out uh, I'm not sure how this is looking this this pet guards looking on the screen but it's it's definitely cream single ply but I don't know Maybe until we actually put it. So I think that's that's quite a good comparison. And you can see some of the the dirt along the edges. So that's what that's gonna give you a good indication. Uh tried this is years ago, tried you know several different paints, you know, gold top metallic and blah blah blah, whatever lacquer it was. And it's not until you actually get your hands on crescent bronze powder that you realize just how distinct it looks especially in person uh, I know an iPhone video is not going to do too much for the whole thing but it's just got a look it's got a very very distinct look about it so without over complicating it and obviously without you guys having to listen to my dodgy voice anymore it is a single body drop this week Regrettably, uh, tomorrow being Friday, Friday 16th, 17th. I'm not even sure what day that is today. Uh, I know it's, I know today, I know today is Thursday. So um, tomorrow, this will be going live on the website uh, tomorrow evening at uh, 7 p.m. on the website. And again, you'll be able to see photographs of this going live uh, tonight hopefully get these photographs edited and get them up on to the uh, the socials and you can have a closer look but one thing that I am keen to kind of stress about this which is just going back to I guess how things used to be done how things I guess how, how a lot of things still are done but nobody really not champions them too much but there are there's a lot more machine finishing going on in the guitar world even down to things getting sprayed and 
something I was really keen to do was when I was actually cutting this out, this pick guard out, I kind of liked the fact, I mean, you can buy these, uh, and I was very tempted, I was very tempted to uh, buy one of these already done. And then I kind of thought, you know, it's going to be too perfect for what this, this whole vibe, this kind of gold top vibe. So this is not perfect. This is, and after seeing old pictures of you know, scratch plates, pick guards on both Les Pauls and old tellies, uh, I kind of liked how this ended up. So again, you'll be able to see close-ups of it, but it's all, it's an entirely hand, I mean, these are, these are usually punched out or they're CNC'd. So the fact that this has all been nicely cut uh, from scratch, I think that's pretty cool. I think that just gives you just that more, say, hand-finished sort of vibe. Uh, no machines, uh, apart from the, the router was involved, but there was no other machinery or tomfoolery going on. So without further ado, I'll love you and leave you. And this is body uh, 0394, and it will be available from tomorrow evening, Friday, 7pm on the website. And we'll catch you in the next video.